Hi, this is Cash from SQL Server 2008 Tutorial.com. Today we have a short video on how to create SQL Server backup using a maintenance plan. So let us uh, get going on this. As for what are the detailed steps in order to do a backup, uh, we will be using uh, SQL Server 2008 R2 version for this demo and uh, we are going to uh, basically create the backup using the maintenance plan wizard in SQL Server Management Studio and then uh, for our case we are using Northwind database and then we will shoot for creating a daily backup at midnight uh, this may be different in your case but um, you know at the very minimum you do want to do a daily backup and if you don't know uh, backup basically is going to create a copy of your database so in case of a disaster or you know corrupt data you can uh, essentially restore the database which be, uh, means that you bring the database back to its original form okay doing backups and restore is a common task for SQL Server DBAs so just a little FYI there we will also write uh, the output of our job to a log file and at the end we are going to go ahead and review the plan and the actual job under SQL Server agent okay so uh, that pretty much covers that I'm going to go ahead and close this uh, now you are looking at uh, uh, at the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio we are logged into our server locally and um, uh, before we get going one thing you do want to make sure as you're working with maintenance plans and jobs that uh, your SQL Server agent needs to be running um, if, if, if in your case maybe let's say if it's stopped uh, you simply come over here I did a right click on it uh, and then select start in order to kick uh, kick start that uh, process okay so uh, as far as database if I expand this tab you can see uh, you know I have a few databases on this machine uh, we are using Northwind 2 which is essentially a copy of Northwind database so what do you need to do to get going well you do see a management tab here uh, on the left side I will uh, expand this and then within this you will see uh, you know one of the options is maintenance plan okay and in order to uh, start you right click on it and you can either create the plan manually or you can select maintenance plan wizard which is what we are going to do this should uh, kick off the process on uh, on how to do this it's uh, really if you have never used this this is a great way to uh, learn uh, some of the steps uh, it, it gives you a little FYI on you know what you can do with this you can basically uh, perform index maintenance uh, update stats do backups and whatnot so it gives you uh, definitely more options than just simply doing a backup but I'm going to go ahead and click next okay uh, trying to keep it really simple here now for today uh, um, I, since I'm doing a backup uh, generally I like to put in uh, my database first and then you can say I am uh, you're doing a uh, let's see a full backup which is different than you know a differential or a log backup and you can add some more description if you wanted to um, for now uh, I'm doing a single schedule and I can actually set up my schedule here you can do this later too but let's go ahead and change this uh, we want to do a uh, we will call it uh, let's see daily okay um, daily at midnight and it is recurring it needs to be enabled uh, as for as frequency we are going to do daily like I mentioned and this is going to be a midnight which is I believe 12 a.m. so that looks correct uh, there is no end date I will leave everything as is select OK alright so now uh, you can see our schedule it occurs every day at midnight and starting basically today and then I will hit next now you can select well what task do you really want this plan to perform okay and you can set multiple tasks but like I said we all we want to show you today is how to back up a full database so I will select that option and then hit next again alright and then it's saying okay uh, if, if I had multiple steps in here I could uh, move them up and down uh, for, for us it's just one so click next 
now here you are going to define a few more things okay uh, the backup is full but which database do you need to uh, you know take care of uh, we are doing Northwind database again you could have selected multiple databases in if you wanted to you have some other options I will simply click OK and so um, it does that now uh, two things in here one is that you it the default folder for backing up your database is in C program files blah 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 I'm going to actually change this so um, I believe I have my location open I have a folder called C SQL backups I'm going to just uh, select this do a copy uh, come back to uh, the screen and then uh, just paste it I mean I, I could have obviously you know clicked here and browsed to that location too but this is uh, what I'm doing you can create uh, also a subdirectory if you're doing multiple databases it may make sense to create a subdirectory I'm going to leave that as, as is you have the backup extension uh, and then you have some other settings okay so I think everything looks good here I will uh, let's see click next now it is asking you where would you like to uh, you know put the log file okay um, and I'm trying to I think let let's do this I I want to use the same directory okay so you know you could even go one step further and create a folder called log in here but let's just let's just leave that as is and you could certainly you know email this report to um, to an operator if you wanted to uh, I'm going to leave that unchecked for now and I think we're we're pretty much at the end of, at the tail end of this so this is pretty brutal as you can see uh, you know you following just a few steps and you're all uh, all set but basically here you can review uh, the information we have a maintenance plan called Northwind full backup we have a schedule that will run every day at midnight okay we are defined we're backing up a uh, full database I mean uh, doing a full backup on Northwind database to disk to this location and also uh, we you know we will back it up to um, the report will go here also we did not talk about compression we actually do have another video on compression on YouTube if you want to check that out but uh, for now uh, I will go ahead and do finish now it is essentially going uh, through the process and creating the, the wizard or the package I guess and I will close this go back to my maintenance plan let's go ahead and refresh this uh, so the one we created today is this this uh, this one right here as you can see uh, I had been playing around with an earlier backup uh, which is this one but uh, nevertheless we have this now two ways you can execute this you can actually right click and exe execute this if you wanted to okay or you can go to your agent which is you know which is um, your part of SQL Server that handles all the uh, the job execution and whatnot okay and down here uh, this is this is the job uh, you know that got created today okay you can certainly double click on it and uh, this will open up uh, you know more information on the particular job as you can see uh, you know it got created today which is March 1st um, I'm not going to go into this uh, detail, but you basically have your steps, your schedules, uh, you know, alerts, notifications, and whatnot. And um, for now, all I'm wanting to do is just right click on this and execute this, which in SQL Server, you just click on start job at step essentially one. So while uh, this is running, let us browse to um, C, uh, C SQL backups, and I am going to uh, basically, you know, sort this in a um, descending order. So in the time that I refreshed, uh, you can see that um, our our job executed because this is yeah this matches the time. But let's go back to SQL. 
and SQL is telling you, well, you have success. Uh, if, if something had gone wrong, wrong, you would have seen a failure instead of the success in the status. I will close it. Okay. Now, like I was mentioning on my C drive, I have two files. This is my backup file. And as you can see, uh, you know, this is uh, looks like it's 53 megabytes. So it's a little, it's, it's a good size file here. And then here is my, um, my log output okay so you know if assuming if something went wrong with your either your maintenance plan or the job you could come in here and troubleshoot it I'm going to go ahead and double click on this right and uh, you know some basic information and this report was run on this PC here's the version of SQL Server which we already mentioned the task started at uh, you know uh, 121 and by the way this this what I did was this was on demand if we had left this alone this would have ran uh, on its schedule at midnight it even tells you what is the command which uh, which is actually a backup database command to disk okay and in fact it gives you the whole syntax and towards the end we have success okay so that is in a nutshell is how you um, create backup um, SQL Server backup using the maintenance plan I can show you that um, uh, I had set up this other plan uh, a few days back which is this one pretty much does the same thing if I right click on here I can select view history and uh, you can see that this particular backup you know is happening at noon um, and uh, I think my agent wasn't running basically between February 12 and 24 but since then it has been running so that pretty much completes our tutorial thank you for watching the video